Hi, dear students. Welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. This is Seema Dudley. Welcome to my another video on the topic Internet of Things. In the last videos we were discussing about the impact of IoT. And in this video, we'll discuss about the convergence of IT and OT. When considering a manufacturing company, the informational technology and the operational technology departments were considered as independent. That is, the operations kept the plant running smoothly and the IT managed business applications from the front office. The two teams occasionally collaborated on successful projects such as implementing printers on the factory floor or servicing industrial PCs. Unfortunately, those opportunities were rare. So now we can check what is information technology and what is operational technology. This information tech, the primary use of information technology is to collect, manipulate, analyze, and generate insights from the data. In the business field, the IT can be something as a simple as a standalone spreadsheet program and account users to build a business model on the, on the computer. Or it can be as complex as cloud-based enterprise resource planning, that is ERP. Then what is operational technology? It is a technology uh, that is primarily used to monitor and control physical operations. And the IT organization is responsible for the information system of a business such as email, file, print services, databases, and so on. And OT is responsible for the devices and processes acting on industrial equipment such as factory machines, meters, electrical distribution, automation devices, SCADA, that is Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition System. In the past, IT has been associated with offices and white collar work, while OT has been associated with factories, warehouses, shipping, and other blue collar works. Yet, increasingly, companies want to align these different types of work with each other which is one of the reasons why companies want to connect IT and OT systems. So what do you mean by the term IT and OT convergence? IT and OT convergence connect IT systems to OT systems, allowing them to transmit data to each other. The goal of IT and OT convergence is to use this connectivity to enhance the value these systems deliver. For example, being able to collect, manipulate, and analyze data from OT systems enable the companies to better use their IT systems to streamline business processes and generate insights that can be used to improve the business or to introduce new services. And we can check uh, the operational technology and the informational technology over here by using different criteria. First one is operational focus. Industrial OT network keeps the business operating 24 into 7 hours. That is, it will be working whole day. Enterprise IT network manages the computers, data, and employee communication system in a secure way. Next criteria is the priorities. That is, uh, in industrial 
OT network, availability has the highest priority. Then integrity and third one is the security. But for enterprise IT network, first one is the first priority is for security. Then integrity and then availability. Next is according to the types of data. Industrial OT network monitoring, control and supervisory data. For enterprise IT network, video, voice, transactional and bulk data. Now we can compare this operational technology and the informational technology using more criterion. First one is security. In industrial OT network, it is control physical access to devices. But in enterprise IT network, devices and users that are using the IT are authenticated to the network. And the next criterion is implication of failure. In industrial OT network, OT network disruption directly impacts the business. Enterprise IT network can be a business impacting depending on industry, but work arounds may be possible. Next is uh, using the criterion network upgrades that is software or hardware. And an industrial OT network only during operational maintenance windows. But in enterprise IT network, often requires an outage window when workers are not on site. That is, the impact can be mitigated. The next criterion is security vulnerability. That is, in industrial OT network, it is slow. And in enterprise IT network, it is high. So now it is critical for industrial enterprises to connect the data found in traditional IT systems with the operational systems. Often this includes integrating data within supply chains. The integration enhances security efforts with more connected devices in an industrial enterprise than ever before. It is vital that robust security policies are established and enforced throughout all operations. Also, scalability is another advantage to this integration. There are new opportunities in the industrial world, including new revenue policies and industrial businesses must be able to get to market quickly in order to succeed. So without the convergence of IT and OT, then both areas will be separated and uh, it won't be working uh, together. It will be working independently. So converging both IT and OT enables an enterprise to achieve long-term cost savings there are lower administrative expense and operational costs that can be attributed to this strategy. So, for example, the OT organization will be providing a remote, real-time remote asset tracking, monitoring and troubleshooting, which allows a company to see where a trailer tool, machine or other assets is and when it will arrive at its destination. These applications can also find out what an asset is doing and change or optimize its operations. So an assignment question connected with this topic. Explain briefly the convergence of IT and OT. Complete the assignments and forward it to the email ID provided to you on or before the date mentioned in the WhatsApp group. Thank you.